Hi folks, my name is John Tracy. I'm a fingerstyle guitarist from Belfast and you're very welcome to my home which is currently set up like a studio. <laughs> this is part of the Pan Arts Belfast Songwriter Series uh, and I'm delighted to be here to share some of my music with you. A big thanks to Pan Arts who, who makes this possible and provides musicians with this kind of platform for us to share our craft. So I'm with you for the next half hour or so. I'm going to play some of my own stuff and some of my arrangements and I really hope you enjoy it. The first song I'm going to play here to kick things off is called Citrus Coast. Uh, this is a, a song of mine that I wrote about seven or eight years ago in Italy. We were along the Amalfi Coast on holiday and the Amalfi is just covered in lemon trees and the scent of lemon was just everywhere so that was kind of the inspiration behind this. So here you go, this is Citrus Coast. In 1940, Walt Disney released a film called Pinocchio, and as part of that film's soundtrack came a song which arguably kind of became the, the Walt Disney anthem, if you like. And the song I'm talking about is When You Wish Upon a Star. And I'm going to play my version of it, um, which was kind of inspired by uh, a different arrangement by Chet Atkins, who was, who's one of the big names in fingerstyle guitar. And I think in the early 70s, he released uh, a gorgeous arrangement of the of this song uh, and with a big emphasis on a technique called cascading harmonics on the guitar. So he found a way to even spell out the, the melody while playing the chords and the harmonies and all the rest. But he found a way to do all that while playing it in cascading harmonics and it's a technique that um, acoustic guitarists, fingerstyle guitarists use quite often to get a harp-like sound from the guitar. So I didn't want to just steal Chet Atkins' arrangement. Uh, or like adopted. What I did do was I came up with my own arrangement completely separate to his but just at the very end I bring in some of that cascading harmonic technique um, so by all means go and listen to Chet Atkins version as well but you want to hear my version now. So this is When You Wish Upon A Star.
This next song is called October Girls and I wrote this for my mum and my sister who were both born in the month of October. Uh, hopefully this will be on the next album, which if I can get my act together should be released next year. But until then, here it is, live. <laughs> The next one I'm going to play for you here is uh, another one of mine called Learning the Ropes. Uh, I don't often play this one live. It was written as a, a theme tune for a radio program, believe it or not. Uh, it's like a ragtime sort of finger style boom check piece. So, hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
this next song shouldn't need too much of an introduction. Uh, I'm going to play my own fingerstyle guitar arrangement of Raglan Road, made famous by Luke Kelly and the Dubliners. Hope you enjoy it. The album that I released in 2018 was called Dangerous to Go Alone. Uh, I'm going to play the title track now. Uh, it's kind of it was inspired by a mix of 1980s video games and like old sort of cheesy comic book TV adaptations. You know the kind of music that you would have got in the old Spider-Man and the old Batman cartoons and live action stuff in the 60s and 70s, whatever. So uh, that was the kind of inspiration musically behind this. So hope you enjoyed, and I hope you can hear both of those influences in the piece as well. So here you go, dangerous to go along.
I'd like to play you a song from the album that I released in 2018 called Teresa's Hands and it's a, it's a song that I wrote dedicated to my, to my granny, Teresa. Uh, she was always a great pianist, she was always great on the piano uh, and it was, all, it was always so nice. Just to, She didn't have a piano in the house but we did and any time she was in the house it was always nice to just see her sit down. To, her eye was always drawn to it and she, it was lovely just to sort of sit down and, and watch the hands move up and down the keys because it brought her a lot of joy and she was the, she was the person that, that kind of kick-started me musically uh, in terms of playing music uh, so if it weren't for Teresa maybe I, I wouldn't be here sharing this with you so this is called Teresa's Hands and I hope you enjoy it Okay, I think I'll finish this set with one more song. This is a brand new piece of mine called A Voice Beyond the Verge. Uh, and this song actually came about as part of a 14-day challenge that myself and a few other musician friends did just before Christmas. Uh, and the 14-day challenge was we had to compose at least a, like a couple of bars of music um, for 14 days in a row and that was fine up until about four, like day 5 or 6 and then afterwards we really started to run out of steam because by that stage you know you've, you've used up all of your bits and pieces that are floating around your head maybe things that you haven't recorded properly or, or ideas or whatever and it got really tough then but we did we, we managed to get through all 14 days uh, so I got 14 brand new compositions out of it uh, and one of them became this song A Voice Beyond the Verge so I'll play it for you now. Uh, I hope you enjoy it and thanks very much for listening. Before I go, massive thanks to Pan Arts and Colin McGee for providing this kind of platform for musicians like me and so many others um, to get our music out there in weird times like during global pandemics. So thanks very much to Pan Arts. So here you go. Here is A Voice Beyond the Verge. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you.